Hello people, this is Salters and we are continuing our series on Python and MongoDB and in this video we will learn that how we can create a collection inside our MongoDB instance. So the collection in MongoDB is similar to the table in MySQL. So if you have used MySQL database or Postgres or any relational databases, so you have seen the concept of tables. So tables are the place where you store your records or where you store your data same way the collection is a place or is an entity inside mongodb where you store your documents so a document in a mongodb is similar to a record in mysql so basically collection in mongodb is similar to a table in mysql a collection is a collection of documents so so many documents create a single collection the collections are automatically created when you try to insert documents. So in the last video, we have seen that the database in MongoDB is also automatically created when you try to insert something or some documents inside it. Same is the case with the collection. MongoDB provides you the flexibility that the collections will be automatically created. So in that case, you don't need to create any collection beforehand. But this is not the case with relational databases like MySQL. In that case, you have to create a table beforehand. You have to define the schema of the table beforehand. But MongoDB provides you that flexibility that collections will be automatically created when you try to insert some documents. Now, this I've already explained that MongoDB will create the collection if it doesn't exist. So you can say or you can mimic that this is a way that you can create a collection. So basically there is a client on which you will get the instance of a database or reference of the database using this get database method. And then on the DB, you can reference to a collection name by using this array like syntax. We will try to do that inside our IntelliJ idea that we are using. So in the previous videos, we have already created a connection string. We have created a Mongo client here and we have passed this connection string to the Mongo client. Now what we'll do, we'll try to get the instance of a database. So since there is no database as of now that on which we want to work, so we will try to list the existing database. So we'll say client uh, list database names. Okay, fine. In the right hand side here, if I run this program that is python app.py, then you can see these are the different databases that are present. So we already have this scraping database, which is one of my project. So what I can do, I can say that db instance will be equal to what client dot get database and the name of the database. So the database name is scraping. Then what I can do, I can list the collections over it. So I can say print db instance dot uh, what is the list collection names so if i want to list all the collections which are present inside a db then i can use this particular command that is list collection names on the db instance that is here what i'm doing the db instance is what i have on the client i'm getting the database by calling this get database method and on that particular db instance i am listing all the collections so if I go here and if I run the program, so this time you can see I'm getting the collection name as post. So this is only one collection which is present inside my uh, DB that is scraping. So let's say I will change it to, let's say I'll take it as admin. And then again on the right hand side, I'll try to run this program. So this time you can see that we are getting a new collection name that is system.version. These are the databases which is because of this, I'll comment it out. Now let's change the database and let's say the database is UMS, which is also my own personal project database. And I'll say Python app.py and here you can see we got two collection that is permissions and then dummy collection. So this is a way that you can connect to a collection or you can create a collection, but MongoDB don't allow you to create a collection because it is created on the fly. So basically there is nothing or no method through which you can create a collection. So this was all about this video. Hope you like this video. Hope you like my channel. Please subscribe to this video and please share these videos with other people. Thank you.